guys and welcome to Barrack Mitsubishi. My name is Ruby and firstly I'd like to thank you for your inquiry on this stunning white 2013 um, Toyota Land Cruiser Prado uh, Altitude Edition. Now starting over at the front, of course you have that very iconic um, Land Cruiser look with that big square grille and those very large headlights. Now the front of the vehicle presents in really good condition. Um, being a 2013 model you would expect a few stone chips. We do have a couple just here but nothing consistent with the age of the vehicle. You do have your parking sensors on the front there. Being such a big vehicle, they do definitely come in handy. Very large projector headlamps as well, so giving you heaps of visibility when you're driving um, in all different conditions. Just underneath, we also have our fog lights with a chrome surrounding to them. Coming around to our first wheel here, excellent condition on that wheel and heaps of condition, um, sorry, heaps of tread on that uh, Dunlop Grand Trek tyre there too. Now working our way down the driver's side, we have our colour matched um, side mirrors and door handles. Now there has been a very small touch up just on the corner here, um, but again, nothing to be worried about and nothing inconsistent with the age of the vehicle being that it is about six years old now. We also have our indicator built into the um, side mirror there too. Working our way down, the paintwork presents in really good condition as well. Um, no major marks that I can see. And we do have a sidestep as well, just to help anyone on the shorter side or any kids get into the vehicle. Now just opening up that door, you'll notice we do have that beautiful leather interior um, with all of your bolsters there in excellent condition. Scuff plates as well in very good condition. Small mark again, but nothing to be concerned about. And then the inside of that door there, again, near new there. So obviously the previous owner has not been kicking the door open. Closing that one back up, coming down to our second wheel. Again, excellent condition and heaps of tread on that tire. Just above we have our D4D turbo badging as well. Just to let everyone know, it is a diesel uh, four wheel drive. Altitude badging too, just to show that it is that limited edition uh, model. And then coming around, of course, we have our spare wheel inside this casing here. Um, I like that it is hidden away a little bit. And then our reversing camera is just nestled up in there too. Now we do have a genuine Toyota tow pack on this vehicle. Um, perfect for any uh, long treks around Australia um, and just general towing as well. We also have color matched reverse parking sensors as well. Opening up the back, it does open like a door. So you get heaps, um, heaps of room to open up the vehicle and heaps of room to be able to put anything in, everything in nice and comfortably. You do also get a lock down the bottom here. So you can just lock that door open so that it's not gonna swing shut on you when you are loading stuff in. Genuine Land Cruiser Prado cargo mat down the bottom here as well. Stop everything in the back from sliding around and help protect that, uh, that carpet underneath. Now it does also come with the cargo blind. So it is as simple as pulling it and locking it into place and then bringing it back. Now closing that one back up, it is as simple as closing the door. Now you do also have this little spoiler on the back here with your high mount stop light there too. Coming around to the uh, passenger side, of course we have Another uh, wheel, excellent condition and heaps of tread on that tyre as well. One thing just to take note of, your fuel filler cap is on your passenger side there. Now in this lighting you can really see that nice metallic paintwork as well. So it does really just pop when the sunlight does hit it. Coming around to our fourth alloy wheel, again same as the other three, excellent condition and heaps of tread. So what we'll do now guys, we'll pop open the bonnet and have a look at the engine. Looking at the engine of the 2013 Land Cruiser Prado now, this is a four cylinder, three litre turbo diesel engine with a five speed automatic gearbox. On the safety side of things, you're looking at a five star ANCAP safety rating with seven airbags throughout. And on the power side, you've got 127 kilowatts of power and 410 newton meters of torque. Now on the fuel side, you've got a 150 litre capacity diesel tank using about 8.5 litres per 100 kilometres, giving you an average of 1,700 
and 65 kilometers to a tank. But of course, that's dependent on how you drive the car and any weight in the vehicle and anything you're towing as well. The Land Cruiser now, and starting on our driver's side door, we've got all four of our power window controls, all being automatic, um, both up and down as well. Just above, we've got our central locking and our window lock. So if anyone in the back is getting a bit annoying playing with the window, you can just lock it on them instead. Looking through our steering wheel, I'm not sure if the camera will pick it up. Um, we do have a Red Arc Tow Pro um, brake controller. So perfect for when you are looking to tow that something a bit heavier. Our idle up control and our little dial to control the angle on our headlights as well. So then if you are towing something or you've got a bit of weight in the back, you can bring your headlights back down to point at the road instead of up at the sky. Just above we've got our stop um, start engine push button engine start. And then just next to that we've got all of our power uh, mirror controls with our little button to fold those side mirrors in. So if we are getting into a tight parking space, we can uh, just fold them in. On our right hand stalk, we have our indicators left and right and our headlight controls. And then on the left hand stalk, we've got our uh, wiper and washer controls front and rear. On the steering wheel itself, um, we do have all of our entertainment controls on the steering wheel. Um, Bluetooth answer and reject. This little button to flick through what you're seeing in your center cluster and then a little, um, another seeking control. So your average speed, average litres per um, kilometre, I'm um, sorry, litres per 100 kilometres, what um, foot wheels are engaged, and you can just also have a nice blank display too. You've also got your voice control, and then just on another little stalk down the bottom here, as Toyota has done forever, we have our cruise control. Um, so obviously Toyota has found something that worked and has not changed it. Um, so everything has this same stalk. On the left hand side, we've got our volume, our seeking and our mode as well. Moving into our centre screen, I'll just bring up that reverse camera display. Um, so heaps and heaps of visibility there. Um, you can change your line display as well. Um, and you can also change your um, more line displays so if you're parallel parking or if you're backing into a normal parking spot you can line up. On the head unit itself we do have our satellite navigation and um, it is a really nice display there and then if we press audio um, you'll see all of our audio options so AM, FM, radio, CD, auxiliary and USB as well. We also have our hazards buttons right there um, nice and easy to locate just below we've got our heating and cooling controls, our climate control. So we've got this little button activates the rear controls or we can just have um, put it to auto and use the um, dials on the front here. Just below we have our CD player and all of our hard buttons for our entertainment. And then underneath that as well we have our centre diff lock, our downhill descent control, and our four wheel drive selector. So we've got high four and low four, automatic shifter, two very nicely sized cup holders that do hide away, hard handbrake, another little storage area, auxiliary USB input, and a 12 volt socket as well. Now inside our center console, it is a split system. So we've got our first little um, section. So probably somewhere you put your wallet, and then a secondary, very large um, storage area, which does have a vent in it. So you can keep things nice and cool. If I just get my camera person to pan up, we'll see the beautiful sunroof as well. Now all your controls for that are just here. And then if he pans up a little bit more, you'll see we do have a DVD player as well for the kids in the back. It does just open and close with the remote. Um, so on opens it and then off closes it. So I just let my camera person pan around a little bit, show you the beautiful condition of the leather and the interior of the vehicle and then we'll pop outside and wrap up the video. Guys, so that wraps up our walk around video on this 2013 Toyota Prado Land Cruiser Altitude model. Now this car does qualify for a premium mechanical protection plan that we do offer. It is an additional cost, um, but it does give you five years up to 200,000 kilometers on the clock of additional coverage, over 181 items in the car, and gives you 10 years of platinum roadside assist as well. If you are looking to finance this purchase, 
our beautiful, uh, lovely finance managers, Mario and Julie, will be able to help tailor that into a package for you to suit your needs. Once again, the number to call is 9907-0555. And just before I go, please go check out our Google reviews. We're sitting on 4.8 stars with over 850 reviews at the moment from customers Australia-wide. If that doesn't give you some insight as to the people that you are dealing with, I don't know what will. So please give us a call on 9907-0555 and book a test drive.